Hi, I'm Blair. I'm here to talk with you about Amazon Fire TV Sticks. Are you looking for a way to stream your favorite movies and TV shows without having to buy a smart TV? Well, the Fire Stick is a perfect option. You can plug it right in and connect it to your home Wi-Fi, and then you can download apps like Hulu, Netflix, and Max, and all of your favorite shows and movies are right there at your fingertips. There are several different versions of the Amazon Fire TV Stick on the market, and the one that you choose is going to depend upon the resolution of your TV and your budget. Each Amazon Fire Stick comes with a remote, and the remote will give you buttons to control your TV. The standard Fire Stick is the Amazon Fire TV Stick HD. It supports HD quality streaming, and it comes with a remote where you can control your TV's volume and power it on and off. Next is the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. This model supports 4K streaming for TVs that are 4K resolution, so you can stream at a sharper, more detailed image quality. Last, Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. This is the best model on the market right now. It not only supports 4K, but it also has a faster processor and more storage. This can make navigating smoother and allow you to download more apps. When you open your Fire Stick box, this is what you're gonna see inside. Here we have the Fire Stick remote, two AAA batteries for the remote, the HDMI extender for the Fire Stick. The Fire Stick is here, power adapter with a USB port, and your USB power cord. Next, I'm gonna put my AAA batteries in the Fire Stick remote. Now we're going to plug your Fire Stick into the TV. First, let's plug the Fire Stick into the HDMI extender. Next, you've got your power cord and your power adapter. So you're gonna plug the cord right into the adapter. And then we're going to take the Fire Stick with the HDMI extender and the power cord with the power adapter. We're gonna plug the power cord directly into the bottom of that Fire Stick. Next, we're gonna take everything, the Fire Stick and the power cord, we're gonna plug the Fire Stick into the TV, into the HDMI port on the TV, and you're going to want to make notice of which HDMI port you're plugging it into. So I'm gonna plug mine into HDMI 1. And after the Fire Stick's plugged into the HDMI port, I'll plug my power into the outlet. Now that I've got my Fire Stick plugged in, I've turned my TV on, I'm using my TV remote and I'm going to find the sources of my TV. So the way that I do that is I press my home button, I'm gonna move over to source, and remember we plugged the Fire Stick into HDMI 1, so I'm going to go to my HDMI 1 input and select HDMI 1 with my TV remote. Now that I have my Fire TV screen up, I'm going to use the Fire TV remote and press the play pause button, which brings up my language options. Press the middle button for English. So now it's time to connect our Wi-Fi and our Amazon account to the Fire Stick, which brings us to this screen. You can either use your cell phone to scan the QR code and it'll bring you to those steps on your cell phone or tablet, or you can use the remote. So we're gonna set it up with our remote today. I'll press the middle circle button on the remote and it'll scan for our Wi-Fi networks. This screen brings up all of the Wi-Fi networks that are in range of the Fire Stick. From here, I'll select my home Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Now that I have my password entered, I'll press connect. So now my device is connected to my Wi-Fi and it's gonna check for updates, but this one's up to date. Now we're brought to the screen where we can sign into our Amazon account. We have two options. We can sign into an account that we already have, or you can create a new account. Sometimes when you order a Fire Stick off of Amazon, you can select to have it pre-logged in to your account already. So when you receive the device, it'll already be logged in to your Amazon account once you plug it in. So I'll select have an account sign in. 
From here, it gives you three options to sign into your Amazon account. You can use your smart device, open up the camera, scan your QR code on your smart device, and it'll directly help you log into your Amazon account. Or you can follow the steps on the screen going to amazon.com forward slash code and enter the code that's on your screen. The third option is using the Fire Stick remote and you can press the three line button on the remote and it'll bring you to a keyboard screen. And you can enter in your email and password directly from the screen. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can create one directly on the Amazon Fire Stick. Select new to Amazon, create a free account. You have two options to create a free account. Option one is to go to amazon.com forward slash code and enter the code that's on your screen, or you can use your smart device, open the camera app and scan the QR code. It'll bring you directly to a screen on your device where you can create an account from there. I've put in my password and now we're on the welcome screen and it says that I've registered my Fire Stick. From here, we'll press continue using the round circle button. This next screen is asking me if I want to save my Wi-Fi password to Amazon. I'm going to select yes because I want the Fire Stick to continue using my Wi-Fi signal. So our Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. We'll press the middle button to select OK. Next, it's giving us the option to download some of our favorite streaming apps. On the bottom of the screen, it shows you can press the play pause button to continue. Now it shows us that the following apps will be added to our home screen. Press the middle circle button to finish your setup. We've got screensaver options. I like a good landscape. What's new on Amazon Fire TV? This is where you can select whether or not you'd like to receive updates from Amazon about the latest shows and movies. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your Amazon Fire Stick. Join us in our next video and I'll walk you through the Fire Stick's menus and options. For more guides and tutorials, visit us at focusbroadband.com forward slash streaming. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.